back to B Sharp Teachers TV. If you're a teacher who wants to teach with authenticity, joy, and loads of success, you're in the right place. That's all that we talk about here on B Sharp Teachers TV. And I am your hostess, Wynne Godbold. I'm the founder of the International Academy of B Sharp Teachers, and I welcome you to this episode of our TV show today. We are going to talk about today doing um, a little something with your math. We've done a lot of reading and writing lately, and we even did some classroom management stuff in there. And so today I want to go back to some math work, and I want to give you an idea that you can use in your classroom tomorrow. So when I'm traveling the country and talking to teachers, I always, you know, the, the subject of money always comes up, like the, not our money and how much or little we're paid, but money and how children learn to count money, to identify coins, and to make change, and that sort of thing. So I came across this cool idea, and I wanted to share it with you today. And all that it involves is just a little bit of change in your pocket. And so you just reach into your pocket, and you pull out your change. And what you do with this change is you put it down onto a piece of paper, and you allow the student to arrange the money into some kind of coin critter. And then they can use a marker to draw around the coin critter if they want to add some legs to it, or if they want to add antennas, or a face, or something like that. They just add that on there. And then what they have to do is to count the change that makes up their coin critter and see how much is their critter worth. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm gonna break from just a minute um, from right here and I'm gonna actually show you a coin critter down on paper. So come on with me and let's go look at a coin critter now. Okay, to help us in this demonstration, I have enlisted my 12 year old son here and I'm gonna hand over to him my coins that I just pulled from my pocket and I'm also going to give him the Sharpie marker to use. So now you'll watch as Cooper puts together a coin critter for us. And he may have to do some rearranging. Um, however he wants to do it is fine. He's looking at his coins. Figuring out what he has. Hmm. Oh, okay. Cooper, can you tell us a little bit about how your your critter's coming together here? It's like, it's always like I'm trying to build his, like, two feet. Okay. His two arms. Yeah. And his eyes. Oh, cool. But I don't know if it's really like, like, I don't know if I can seriously do that. Um, I might have to come up with a new thing. So it'd be like this and this. And then I'd rearrange it so it goes like that. And then those two would go like this. But he are those his legs? Yeah, those are his legs. But he wouldn't have any arms. But I guess that would work for now. Um, so Ooh, I guess I liked his little arms though. You don't want to give him arms? Okay. I thought he was cute. I like that? Any way you want to, it's fine. Oh, look at that little guy! Yeah, Excellent. I mean, that's how I had him. Okay. So I just I'll draw a line like this. Okay. Then like this. Uh huh. Then up top. Then like this. Then I I draw one like this. Okay. Like this. Now wait, I'm sorry. Nice. Okay. Then I'll draw one like this. Like this. And like this. Okay. And then. And up at the top are those his eyes? Uh yes, these are his eyes. Does he need some eyelashes? Sure, I'll give him some. Okay. Nice. Cute, and now we have a coin critter. And okay. Oh, uh, if you, if you want me to, I can label the eyes, the arms. The no, no, they look good. I think okay. we can tell. All right. What I do want you to do is to draw an equal sign over here now for me. And this coin critter. No. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, equals. Equals. Mhm. Mm and let's talk about how much money does this coin critter now equal? What would we do first to count up how much he is worth? We would first start with the quarters because they're big. Okay. How many do we have? We have uh, 50, 50 cents right there. Okay. The two eyes are 50 cents. Uh, and that's 55 cents for this mm -hmm. one. Uh, 60 cents right here. Yep. Okay. 70 cents mm -hmm. right there. Uh, 80 cents. Yep. 81 cents. Mm -hmm. 82 cents. 83 cents. And 84 cents. Excellent. So, so right that would the equal value. up to 84 cents. Fabulous. Oh. What? How are we going to show cents? Oh, sorry. Um, wait. 
draw I think draw a C with an thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So this might be wrong, so correct me if it is. You got it. Perfect. So this coin critter is equal to 84 cents. Very awesome. Thank you for your help, Mr. Cooper. So there you have it, folks. That's the way that you can use the change in your pockets to make coin critters and have a little bit of fun counting money with the kids in your class or with your personal children as well. If anybody's needing some extra work in doing coin counting and figuring out money amounts, what better way than to make coin critters? Okay, I hope you have a great afternoon. This is Wynn Godbold of the International Academy of B-Sharp Teachers. And Cooper Godbold. And Cooper, my precious son. Thank you for being part of our video this week and for You're showing welcome. everybody how to make coin critters. You're welcome. Guys, we will see you the next time right here on B-Sharp Teachers TV. Oh, one thing before we go, Cooper, I've got to tell the folks about this. On April 25th, we are having our EdPro interview with Steven Burgor, who is the creator of Writing from Imagination. If you have not yet signed up to be a member of the International Academy of B-Sharp Teachers, you need to get your buns over to bsharp.us and sign up. It's a free membership, and hearing these EdPro interviews is one of the many benefits of membership. So hop on over there and get signed up so you'll be on the line with us Thursday night to hear about his amazing story and how he created writing from imagination. For today, Cooper Godbolt, Wynn Godbolt, signing off. Bye!